Okay, this is um, an assortment of collars because every horse does not have the same size neck. And uh, these are about a 19, these are roughly, I'd say, a 22. Uh, these two right here are 22s. This is a, these two are 23s. This is a 26 for a big horse. Takes a big horse to fill that. These collars over here are, um, this is a 19, this is for the one in training. He's a smaller horse. So this is a 19. This one's an 18. And they also make what's called an adjustable collar. These go from 22 to 24 inches. And that's what Duke and Duchess are in now. So I'll go, um, I have, when I go to Billings, they like me to have a nice set of harnesses when I come out there because I don't know if they don't have a harness maker, but so this is the set that will be sold in July with my horses that are going out in July. Big set of Perchins, three and four year old called Duke and Duchess. This set of harness, um, my dad surprised me he, um, for my birthday one year, about eight years, 10 years ago when I was 50. He, gave me this set for a birthday gift because he knew I liked the draft. And I wanted a set to match it, so I had this one made. It hasn't been on a horse yet, but it will come next spring. And I need, this is a new harness, so I need to dip it in oil to preserve it. I like to do that about once a year. Dip everything, the lines, the collars, um, bridles, dip everything in it. It preserves them. It, um, if you take care of a set of harness, it'll last 56 years. And you just have to do minor repairs. Duchess! Sarge! Come! Come on! Come, Sarge! Come, Sarge! Come, Duke! Good. Good. Come on. Come here. Yeah, come on. No, 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 you're not going in there. Come here. Good boy. Come here. Good boy. Okay, easy girl. Over. Step. Step. Good girl, Duchess. Okay. Come here. I do this to get the dirt off them so there's no dirt under the collars and under the harnesses. Good boy. This is Duke. Duke is four. Right now he's about, I suppose, 18 to 1900 pounds. I think he's over 17 hands tall, so he's a big boy. This is Sarge. He's a, um, about 15 hands already. He's growing really good. Uh, he's registered Percheron, but I don't like to have the tails cut docked for when they, um, to register them, so I don't get the paperwork on them because I don't want to cut the tails. I don't like the tails docked. Sarge. How's your neck here, huh? How's your neck? Good boy. I'm going to put some fly spray on him now. I'm going to put the collars on now. She's in a 20 second a 22 inch and he's in a 24. Easy boy. This is an adjustable collar. It's got this top piece on it and you can adjust this strap right here for the size. Good boy. Come here. Good boy. 
I'm pulling out the hair underneath the collar so it doesn't rub. Good boy, Duke. Get her hair out from under her collar. Good girl, Duchess. Good girl. This harness is set for the left horse. It's, it's um, adjusted to fit her. Good girl. Good girl. When you fit a collar to the horse, you want your hand, this part of your hand, to just be able to go in here. And, not, and that's enough space between the horse and the collar. Okay, back up, back up, back up, back up. Good girl. So now I'm going to tighten up the hame straps, the hames with these straps, so it doesn't come loose. Whoa, girl. Easy, girl. It's good, girl. These are called hames. These are hame straps, and this is what holds the whole harness on. So you want to have this adjusted so it kind of pulls these together on top of the collar. And these hames, where, where the curvature is in the collar, you want the curvature of the hame to go so it's a good fit. And then you tighten this as tight as you can get it. And uh, when you fit the harness for the horse, this is a back pad. This is a uh, drop straps, um, britching. Um, you want this right on top of the horse's butt. So you want this on top so it can't pull forward and it can't pull back. It holds the, help holds the harness. This is a cooper. It goes under the horse's tail. I give it a little tug so it's everything's fit right. I lift her tail. I put this under. And then I tighten tighten it and uh, the first time you do this on a horse don't stand behind them because you could get kicked always stand to the side the first few times that you hook that until you learn to trust your horse over girl over girl okay these are the hold back straps so when they're pulling um, it holds your load back this is a martingale up in front. The whole back straps get hooked to the martingale. It's between their legs. And there's a belly band strap that has to be hooked to hold everything in. This band around their belly you want, I suppose, a few inches, not a lot of room. Um, if it gets too loose, they, if they kick or something, they could get their foot caught in there. So you don't want their, that to happen. So you tighten this up. Okay, back up, girl. Back up, back up. This is the Martin, the Martingale, right, Dad? Yeah. And uh, to set this right for when you hook them up, this line here, you want it to continue down through here. Mine is probably just about a half inch too long. Now we'll see if this makes a nice straighter line. Yep, a straight line. So when you hook it up to the eveners and stuff and the neck yoke, it, it's for properly fit. So she's ready except her bridle, so I'll harness the next one. Oh, good boy. 
Good boy, Duke. Good boy, Duke. <laughs> okay, I'm going to bridle her now. So I take this, um, I've adjusted this to fit her, but I'll show you what I do when I adjust them. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Open up. Good girl. Okay. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. After I put it on her, I this is the throw it latch. I hook this. Um, when I fit this bridle to her, I want these are their blinders. I want them approximately in the middle of her eye so she can't look above and she can't look below. And when I put it on, I pull her hair out over the top so it doesn't pinch or pull her. And then uh, this strap here holds their heads up, so we just put it over the outside hame. Check rein, this is a check rein. Put it over the outside hame. And then I hook her, this is her line to her, the, the left side of the bit. These bits are um, Pelham bits. They're regulation, uh, show bits and they're also regulation parade bits. There are some bits you can't have for use in a parade and stuff. It's for um, to help control a runaway if you have them. Okay, you're a good girl. You're a good girl. Good girl, Duchess. I have this Duke for, or this bridle for Duke because this is the matching one to that harness but this piece right here, this nose band, isn't big enough for him because he's a big boy. So I just have a set of black perchin bridles. I always have spares on hand. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, that's a good boy. Should we make you look pretty, huh? Should we make you look pretty? Yeah. Since I'm right here, I'm gonna hook his outside line. Back, 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 back. I'm going to hook his check over the outside hame. Good boy. You're just a big boy, aren't you? Yeah, you're just a big boy. When you fit a bridle to the horse to make the, for the bit to be in the right spot, I like one or two little lines here. If it hangs too low, you don't have control of them. If it's too high, it may, gives them a sore mouth. And the chin strap, when you hook that, you want to fit two fingers in here to know the correct length. Two fingers will go in there. Or you, if you have it too long, you don't have control of them either. And now I'm just going to hook them both together. Good boy. Yep. These are called the cross lines. This is what hooks one horse to the other. I, make, I like to make sure they're straight. Good girl. 
Okay, on the back part of your harness, this here um, holds your load back when you're going downhill. This strip here, it's called the hold back. It's the back part of the harness. To adjust these straps here, this is called their stifle. This is where you want this strap to rest when you're working horses. Some people will have them lower, some people will have them higher, but it works nice kind of right around their stifle. Easy girl. Fly, fly bugging her. Okay, uh, Dad, you can unhook them now. We're going to take them out, okay? Okay. Easy boy. Back, come around. Back, come around. Come around. Good. Walk. Good boy. Come around. Good boy. Good boy. I tie him. Now I'm going to um, hook them to the, start hooking them to the wagon. This is the neck yoke. There's two snaps on front. I hook each, each ring to a snap. These are the tug chains. And we hook them to the eveners. Easy. Step, step over, over, step, step over, over, step over. Good boy. Back, back, back. Good girl, Duchess. Good girl, Duchess. Step over. Step. Come on, step. Good girl. Good girl. That comes with a little bit of practice, getting them to step over. And getting them to drive them across the pole is pretty important. Okay, we are ready. Whoa. Good girl. Whoa, good boy. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Easy. Okay, back up. Back up. Good. Okay, come around. Come around. Come around. Good girl. Come around. Good girl. Good do. Good duchess. Good. Good. Good boy. Good boy. Something we always do is keep tight lines on them. Right now, I'm not real tight. The only way they know what you want them to do. Yeah. Come on, Duchess. Boy, he's bigger than she is, isn't he? Oh, yeah, he grew. He grew. He's a good four inches. That yeah, gelding she is. always grows a little longer than a mare. Yeah. Come on. Easy. Easy. Good girl. Good boy. listens to you. Yeah, she's really good. Yeah. She, she um, Duchess is a horse I think in a little while anybody can ride, drive. He's um, he's all horse, so he needs a more experienced driver. Yeah, he's not what you'd call a kid's horse. No, but she would be. She, he, would she be. will be, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and she is also green broke to ride. I ride her some, so it's fun. I wouldn't want to get on his back. Oh, I would, Dad. In the is, barn? Well, yeah. I, I, yeah. In the barn, I would, I I would get on. But I him out and ride him. I no, don't know. No, he, he would need an experienced rider. Yeah. But I have saddled him and got on and off him. and yeah. 
you got to have at least about a two, two and a half foot step stool to get on him comfortably. <laughs> See, now when we're, when we're training teams, we would take him with one and her with one a few times before we would put them together. Good boy, Duke. You got a short ride today, didn't you? A short ride. Good boy. I used to, as a kid, I had a big black horse like this I rode, and uh, in order for me to get on his back, he'd put his head down, and I would lay on his neck, and then he'd put his head up, and I'd slide back on his back and ride. We rode bareback. We didn't own a saddle. So <laughs> they'll do anything for you if you talk them into it. Good boy. Okay, good boy. Good girl. Good boy. Good girl. We're, we're going to drive him into the barn. Good boy. Good girl. Good Duchess. You guys are good, aren't you? Huh? Come on. Good boy. Good girl. Whoa. Whoa. Now I'm going to tie the lines up onto the harness. You make kind of like a circle. Put it on through, through the back and then pull the tail through. Okay, easy boy. And attach him to the harness. That's a good girl. Okay, come here, honey. Good girl. There we go. There. They, they learn to spit their bits out pretty good. And then you just, when you pull a harness, you do the exact opposite of when you put it on. Good girl. You got by easy today, didn't you, honey girl? Yeah. Usually I like to go for eight, 10 miles a day. Oh, you know where the treats are, don't you? Unhook this and it'll slide right off. Good girl. Good girl. Yes, you want a treat, don't you? Okay, oh, big boy. Good boy. They are big animals. <laughs> yeah. Good boy. So then you brush them down when you're done ride driving them again. Okay, after I brush them, then sometimes I check their feet. Always run your hands down them before you lift them. Usually they're pretty good. Good girl, lift. Good girl. Um, he's trimmed. I just trimmed them so they look pretty nice. This is their frog, outer heel or outer hoof, inner hoof. Um, this is their frog. Um, I don't like them to get over a half inch long or I nip them with the nippers. Hey. <laughs> so, so I do all my own footwork too. Take care of them. Um, they do pretty good. Once in a while he, he's so big he can pull his foot out of my hands. But not too often, I usually manage to get him, so. So yeah, so now I'll just give him a little treat and we'll turn him out. I don't give him very much, in the, in the old days they used to give him like six quarts when they were worked every day, but I just, it's kind of more of a treat to get him in and a treat when they're done. <laughs>